Hello everybody, this is me, Gabriel, and today I'm gonna teach you how to play those those quacked games, right? Those R games. Guys, uh, just so you know, this video is completely for education purposes, so nothing that I'll show you here is to like incentivize piracy or anything like that. I'm just doing this to show you how you could do this if you wanted and it's just a possibility and of course I own the game that I'm gonna show you today just so you know I kind of have the rights to do this because I actually bought the game so yeah I, you get it right so in this case I'm gonna uh, play a game called it takes two I already uh, beat that game I was playing it with my girlfriend and I just downloaded it because it was not such a heavy game and I can show you. So there are a lot of ways to do this. Uh, you could add the game on Steam, you could use Lutris. And in my case, I kind of prefer to use Heroic Games Launcher because I had the most luck with uh, using this one. You can go to their website and there's a very cool website here, yada yada. But I prefer to just come here to GitHub and download the RPM because I'm using Fedora, so download the RPM. They also have, uh, oh, I already downloaded it. Okay, let's install it. I also, um, you could also download the flat pack that there is in the store automatically. You don't have to kind of download this. But for some reason, I just cannot get it to work on the flat pack version. I have to use RPM. And by the way, just a heads up, if you're not being able to open the game or if the wine prefix or something is kind of buggy, you can just do sudo dnf install wine and it uh, you, you can install it like this and it will probably work. So now let's open this and ta -ta 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 -ta, you can close this. So the first thing you need to do is to come here to Wine Manager and you're gonna reload this so you it shows you the latest version. Just download the latest version of Wine GE. It, it kind of explains you this because I didn't understand what this meant but Wine GE is the one that you should use outside Steam and if you want another version of Proton inside Steam you should use Proton GE. In some specific cases Proton GE can actually work better outside Steam but it's like not the case most of the time so yeah. Anyways, uh, let me just show you something. I have the game in my SSD here. It's It takes two. So we're gonna come here to library and we don't need to log in to anything. Uh, that's what I think it's really cool about this. Uh, it also takes the image automatically. So it takes two if you type this here and exit this, it's gonna search for it automatically. Hey, and it's actually really beautiful here. It kind of looks like a, an official game, you know? Uh, so let's come here to show wine settings. You should configure this uh, to be the wine GE latest. And now we're gonna select the executable. So other places we're gonna go to it takes two, it's not binaries, win64, it takes two.exe. If you're like playing some sort of GOG game, you can run the installer first and then you select another executable. But in my case, it's a portable game, so just do it like that. And let's play finish and play. If everything works as intended, it should open the game. But if it doesn't open the game, it's because it's missing a specific library. Probably it'll not open right now. Yeah, it, wait. Yeah, it, it worked actually. It, it just worked. Um, okay. I was gonna show you if it didn't work. Uh, I was gonna show you something, but I'm gonna show you just like... Let's just open the game first so I can show you that it's actually working fine and everything so yeah continue continue whatever no and yeah it's working pretty 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 well so let's quit the game and in in your case if it doesn't open it's because it's missing a specific library which is the Microsoft uh, Visual Studio registry beautiful I never know how to pronounce that shit so what you need to do is to just uh, click on the options of the game and you're gonna go to wine tricks Yep, uh, open the Wine Tricks GUI and you're gonna go to select the default prefix. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. Yeah, so now you're gonna install a DLL and you're gonna scroll down all the way to VC Run 2022 and install this. So this actually includes all the other. Um, Visual Studio redistributables from the other years. So just install the latest one, like in my case, it's 2022. 
and you know now you can just press cancel cancel and close this you can see that it installed yeah um, but in my case it worked without this so I didn't even need to install it I tested a bunch of games doing this and for me it was the best way to play the games I actually got it wor also working with like steam and even Lutris but Lutris is uh, in my opinion kind of too complicated and steam has a weird bug that if you play a game like a, in this case a pirated game of course in steam sometimes the like the cutscenes will not work because they need a specific codec and in this case it works on heroic games launcher so i don't know why that happens but for me the best way to make this work was always with heroic games launcher i played a bunch of games like this and of course, uh, anyways, uh, you should buy the games after you play them or at least contribute in some way. Uh, in my case, I'm living in a country where like uh, laws regarding piracy are more relaxed. We don't care too much about it. That's why I even downloaded this game to show you because I already played it officially, of course. And now I downloaded it just to, like, just to show you how you could do this. But anyways, don't pirate games. Uh, piracy is illegal in some countries and i'm not incentivizing piracy in any way possible okay anyways thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was helpful for you and see you next time goodbye